The lead manager for the fund for the past seven years is Chuck McQuaid, and he joins us now. Chuck, uh, good to have uh, you with us, and what a record for your fund. Um, and as I understand it, you focus mostly on small to mid-sized companies. Um, so how have you been able to consistently outperform? What is it that you do differently than other small and mid-sized funds? Well, first, being in small and mid-cap stocks is a help because the small and mid-cap stocks have outperformed the larger caps over the last 40 years. Small and mid-cap companies tend to grow faster, they're more innovative, and in addition, sometimes the small and mid-cap stocks are bought out by the larger companies at uh, big premiums. Right. So in, a, in addition to being in small and mid, we have a sensible investment style, growth at a reasonable price. We want growing companies, but we don't want to pay too much for them. And that's avoid us, avoided us from getting nailed by some of the bubbles we have seen in the last 40 years. Mm. And then finally, we've built a team of uh, 23 analysts who are specialists in small and mid-cap stocks and who are really good at picking stocks for the fund. Right. Uh, but they're, they're good at that. And does it make you more nimble? I mean, how does it compare vis-a-vis -vis your competitors? Uh, because, you know, if, the, if it were the case that small and mid-caps always outperform, then, of course, anybody would just get into it and make money and make good returns. But what is it that you do? Uh, is it that you're more nimble than your competitors because you've got this large team? Well, I wouldn't necessarily say more nimble. I'd say we've done three things differently. First, with the size of the team, we can pursue a lot of information about the stocks. You know, we go beyond what's in the quarterly conference call. We're checking with customers, suppliers, and competitors. Right. We try for that information edge. Second, we pursue valuation edges as well. We're looking at more than just reported earnings per share. We're looking at things such as private market value and a free cash flow. Mm -hmm. And third, we uh, have a, uh, what we believe to be a time horizon edge. We have fairly low turnover in the fund, typically around 20%, five-year holding periods. And by, right. having a longer t by having a longer time horizon, we uh, take advantage of short-term anomalies that sometimes happen in the market. Hmm. Okay, and then you know, we might be experiencing one right now. Who knows? But uh, for, uh, how are you positioning your fund right now for, for what Bernanke is calling a more modest recovery? Well, our biggest overweight is in industrial stocks. Uh, we think that the uh, uh, industrial area will do somewhat better than the consumer area. We note that a lot of large companies have very good balance sheets and are generating lots of cash. The large companies are hesitant on hiring new people, but they've got some pent-up demand in, uh, in capital goods and in technology. Uh, where they've underinvested for several years and need to become more efficient and more competitive. Right. Okay. All right. So the biggest overweight in industrial. Interesting. Uh, Chuck, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for uh, joining us. Chuck McQuaid, uh, the lead manager of the Columbia Acorn Fund, our best in class.